Okay, um, buddy, or rather I should say uh, Dr. Conyers, uh, you was talking about um, a very famous educator that passed a while ago, uh, Dr. Amos Wilson. Yes. Uh, back in the late 70s, early 80s, Dr. Marimba Ani founded a school called the African Heritage School. Uh, its real title is the African Heritage After School Program. And she brought me in uh, as one of her former students at Hunter College as a co-founder of the school. The interesting story concerning Amos is simply this. For a while, we had no place to house the school. And Amos Wilson had a bookstore right on 125th Street. And Amos allowed the African Heritage School to function out of the back part of the bookstore where he stored the books for about five years without paying any rent or any funds. This was his dedication to African people. And what we simply did was put up a curtain, a partition between the customer portion of the store and the back part of the store where the books were. And we had the African Heritage School in that room for many, many years. Amos was also a frequent lecturer at the African Heritage School, along with Peter Bailey, Dr. Clark, Tony Browder, um, I just, I, numbers of people. I can't even think of all the names that came through and spoke at the African Heritage School, along with myself and Marimba Ani. So Amos was really, really important in terms of the development of those young people who attended the African Heritage School, as well as giving us a much needed space free of charge that we could have when we had no other place to be. So we were all very close to Amos for many, many years. And in fact, at Amos's uh, funeral, we were all certainly there at the funeral up in the Bronx. So Amos was very, very important to us. And he was one of the best minds that we had. Di unfortunately died too young, too early. He was very ill. But I would recommend that anybody read any of Amos's books, Blueprint for Black Power, <clears throat> or any of the other books, by Amos Wilson, there is an enormous amount, an amount of information in those books for anyone interested in understanding the plight of African people and how and why we think and behave the way we do. Mm. Now you mentioned books, 